It's Sunday, about two o'clock. We're doing the weekend bike ride. It snowed a little bit this afternoon. Probably right around 12. The sun's trying to come through. I don't think it will though. It might. We might see some partial clearing. It's in the mid 30s. I think it's done raining. You might have a few sprinkles now and then on the ride. But I'm dressed for it. I'm ready for it. Should be a good ride. Here we are. Alali State Park West recreational map shows us right here. We'll be going up these switchbacks up to here. And there's no indicator what that is, but that's where our start point is at 2,700 feet. I think it's 16 feet short of 2,700 feet, but we'll call it 2,700 feet. All right, let's do this. Okay, so we're coming up to the favorite part of the forest which is normally the fern forest. It's covered in snow. This is a really serious workout. This snow is not easy to get through. It's thick, heavy. So it's snowing. The snow is pretty packed. It's hard to get through. It's a lot of resistance. It's not light and fluffy. It's thick and heavy. It makes it really hard to make headway through it. I don't think we're gonna make it to our ordinary start point. Oh, cause this stuff is just too difficult to get through. <sighs> The snow is so crazy thick and heavy. I can't even roll in it. That's as far as I roll. That's crazy. So there's gonna be a lot of pedaling going downhill. I have to get to a point where there's downhill so I can try and mount my bike. Because I can't get any forward momentum. I'm, I'm almost actually staying on top of the snow. Stuff is so thick. I'm not compressing it down to the trail. And there's only like three, maybe two or three inches of snow. It's gonna make going downhill really slow. A lot of work. Oh, there's a lot of work going uphill. Oh, this is fatiguing. Oh my God. Well, I'm gonna have to call this our start point because I'm into this ride two hours and I'm not even, I'm probably about halfway to my ordinary start point, but the snow is so thick and heavy. So we'll take a break here. We'll eat a couple of mandarin tangerines. My legs are burning, but they're not cramping. It's possible I could probably make it to a viewpoint, but I don't want to push my luck because uh, I still have to make the descent and the descent's probably not gonna be that easy. So there's gonna be a lot of work going back down. So I don't wanna be cramping on the way up if I'm gonna be having a workout on the way down. So we're gonna take a break here and we'll head down. Okay, it looks like the sun's trying to 
peek through the clouds. We're gonna start our descent. Lower the seat. Oh. I don't think that camera's gonna work, so we're not gonna try that camera. Oh. Gotta get it pointed downhill. Uh, do a brake check. Get it in the right gear. Suspension's unlocked. Gotta get the feet in the right position, but that's not really that important for this type of a run. Okay. This is gonna be crazy. All right. Yeah, this is pretty slow. <laughs> this is not fast. Still, it's fun. Yeah, that camera already stopped. I think the SD card is not fast enough. This is pretty slow. Okay. That's a blast. That's always fun. It's beautiful up there. It's a really nice, it's a nice trail. The tires that I'm using, they're Bont Ridge XR5 Team Issues. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Oh yeah, there it is right there. Bont Ringer. XR5 team issue. They're pretty knobby. They work pretty good. This is a 2.6 up front fitting on a non-boost XCR Sun Tour and a Fender. So there's a there's a Fender and a 2.6 tire on a non-boost XCR Sun Tour fork. 
working out pretty good. I don't have any clearance issues. I mean, it's tight. It's really tight. There's like no room, but I don't have any issues with it. It'll spit a rock through it and hit the fender as it spits it through, but there's enough room for it that it's not rubbing. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one.